Technology is rapidly changing. If you were born between 1960 and 1980, you are called Generation X, and you will remember a drug called thalidomide. Today, those babies are now adults, but instead of adapting to life without limbs, they can now benefit from technology they never dreamed possible in the 70s. In 1970, newborn babies were wired up to machinery. Today, newborn babies' vital signs are monitored by motion camera. State-run care homes for the elderly have been bad for a long time and a far cry from an innovative gated village called Hogavec, designed as a pioneering care facility for elderly patients and similar to The Truman Show. This is technology that values the elderly patient at home, embedded with sensors to monitor falls and ambient technology to keep patients safe. Hogavec brings technology to life. In 1953, Watson and Crick dreamed about sequencing DNA. The cost of reading the three billion chemical letters in a human genome was $1 billion in 1990. In 1953, could Watson and Crick have ever dreamed these things possible? Diseases that are genetic are being discovered at a pace that's astonishing. In 2000, sequencing DNA took two years. Today, it only takes 72 hours. The next inflection point in diagnostics is the opportunity to diagnose literally thousands of rare diseases that have genetic origins. Florence Nightingale could never have dreamt it possible for her patients to be cared for remotely. But today, thousands of companies like Babylon connect you to a remote doctor using your smartphone for a diagnosis in minutes. IBM Watson is the companion diagnostic at MSK Cancer Center, one of the leading cancer centers in the world. And in the next few years, cognitive computers like IBM Watson will be the inflection point in doctors' diagnosis and decision making. Soon, human beings will only feel safe in a doctor's diagnosis if artificial intelligence agrees. After all, our brains only have 50 processes going on at any given time. IBM Watson has 2.5 billion.